Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says indeed this Quran guides to that which is most suitable and gives good tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds that they will have a great reward and that those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man ihtada fa innama yahtadi li nafsi, wa man dalla fa innama yudillu alayha, wa la taziru wa ziratun wa zira ukhara, wa ma kunna muaddibina hatta nabata rasoola. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Whoever is guided is only guided for the benefit of his soul. And whoever errs only errs against it. And no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. And never would we, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says whoever is guided is only guided for the benefit of his soul. The message that I'm coming with, the glad tidings, the warnings that I'm coming with. Whoever is guided by that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, is only guided for the benefit of his soul. And whoever errs, only errs against it. And no bearer of burden will bear the burden of another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. Allah would never punish Qom Lud, Ad, Thamud, Madian. Um, uh, um, and all those other cities that were destroyed that Allah has destroyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says well, um, um, Allah, Allah would not have destroyed them unless he sent a messenger look Qom Lut uh, 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 Allah sent a brother Lut so, uh, Nabi Lut um, uh, to Madian Shu'ayb was sent Ad uh, um, uh, um, Ad uh, uh, um, Saleh was sent to Thamud and um, um, Ad uh, and Hud was sent to Ad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not punish them without a, him sending a messenger. After they refused the messenger, that is when they got destroyed. That's when Allah destroyed them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولَ He says, and never would we punish until we sent a messenger. And no, the messenger here is not Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His time, no city was um, destroyed. Or, um, there wasn't a, a, a serious punishment. There was wars here. But um, the, there was no, no, there's no major destruction. Like, um, uh, Allah says in another part of the Quran, and we would not destroy a city until until we resurrect and we bring forth uh, from the mother city uh, um, a, a messenger reciting our verses to them and we will not destroy a city unless its people were wrongdoers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly here is talking about resurrecting a messenger, bringing forth a messenger before destroying a city. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another uh, part of the Quran, uh, um, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there's a, a ayah that says there's, a, there's not a city uh, that 
will come before Qiyamah unless until we uh, um, punish it with a severe punishment or destroy it. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it says, uh, um, it says, uh, uh, it it says that it says that there's another part in the Quran. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says uh, in uh, in the next ayah, وَإِذَا أَرَدْنَا أَنْ نُهْلِكَ خَرْيَةً أَمَرْنَا مُتْرَفِيهَا فَفَسَخُوا فِيهَا فَحَقَّ عَلَيْهَا الْقَوْلُ فَدَمَّرْنَاهَا تَدْمِيرًا. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in number. 16 Surah to Isra he says and when we intend to destroy a city listen carefully Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and when we intend to destroy a city we command its affluent the big people the leaders we command its affluent but they defiantly disobey but they defiantly disobey they're in so the word comes into effect upon it. So the affluent, the leaders, they disobey. So the word comes um, uh, comes into effect upon it. And we destroy it with complete destruction. And how many have we destroyed? And how, and how many have we destroyed from the generations after Noah? And sufficient is your Lord concerning the sins of his servants as acquainted and seeing.